All right, what's going on there, folks? Uh, good afternoon. It is the Earth Master here back on the live stream uh, with an update video on this Wednesday, May 18th, 2022 date. It's about 12.05 p.m. California time where, uh, man, it's hot and dry out here looking at uh, some extreme fire conditions here for California today and tomorrow. Not good. Latest quake shows a 1.1 earthquake up here, a very small microquake up into the area of the Alaska region. Also a 2.3 it looks like showing up there in the Oklahoma area. Let's go ahead and check out the latest movement here uh, from the USGS map as we switch over here to a different window. And that's the last 24 hours of 2.5 and above for the states and internationally um, 4.0 and above. Still seeing quite a bit of uptick in activity over here along the western Pacific and up here along the Aleutian Trench. We did see some movement last night around the Rat Islands area. That one uh, kicking off there at a 5.8 magnitude earthquake. Pretty uh, somewhat larger one. It's been pretty quiet up here along the Aleutian Trench recently. So we just, they decided to uh, do a little adjustment up there. That was about uh, 17 kilometers into the Aleutian tr Trench area it looks like just outside of the Rat Islands area. Uh, some further movement throughout uh, Japan, the western part of the Pacific Plate, right around the uh, Philippine Plate here. Seen a couple uh, fives in there as well, 5.6 and a 5.0 near Guam. Down here in the uh, uh, Indonesia region, a couple earthquakes as well, 5.0 and a couple fours. Notice back here though, towards the east, uh, has gone awfully quiet. Uh, in terms of earthquake activity and of course a train always tends to uh, show up when uh, when I'm doing a live stream but that's alright hopefully it's not too loud I don't even know if you guys can hear it kinda in the background uh, but also have uh, the EC running in here in the computer room because it's hot out there it's already 94 uh, 94 degrees and I, I try to keep it cold in here I got it about 65 here in the computer room keep everything cool uh, some movement across the Middle East. It looks like around the uh, Afghanistan and Iran area. A couple fours kicking off there. And uh, seen a small earthquake last night being reported by the USGS in the Kosovo area. A 2.3. Kind of odd to show that earthquake there. But uh, occasionally occasionally the USGS will do that. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and check out the kind of the main area for activity right now. It appears to be the western uh, U.S. here. Still seeing some activity ramping up pretty big time up here outside of Seattle. We did see that swarming kick up here on the Devil's Mountain Fault Zone. Uh, that has since kind of died off. We haven't really seen any activity uh, recently, uh, but we are seeing some activity back uh, to the west here, just outside of Seattle and that surrounding Victoria up here uh, in the Strait of Juan de Fuca. And all of this activity has a lot to do with what's going on in the trimmer department the trimmer is a cascadia subduction zone movement this is from uh, yesterday and the previous day looks about the same so we've had well over uh, 1200 trimmer count here along almost the entire section of the cascadia subduction zone uh, and of course when we get this trimmer activity it does apply uh, some stress and some further back building upstream and not only upstream but also at the surface level here along the North American plate uh, with some earthquake activity and that's kind of what we're seeing getting a couple hints of this activity here uh, again outside of Victoria the majority of this earthquake activity if you look at the Strait of Juan de Fuca uh, that one there is 42 kilometers down into the subduction zone uh, a couple other ones here outside of Seattle 30 kilometers uh, so overall some deeper earthquake movement 26 for that one uh, northwest of Seattle a lot of deeper movement here being contributed to the uh, continual trimmer activity uh, down south into Oregon not a whole lot showing up here around the uh, coastal range low activity outside of Bend well south of Bend this here is going to be well the Newberry volcano 0.5 near Lapine we'll go ahead and uh, since we're kind of looking at this volcano I want to pull up the Newberry volcanic map here and see uh we haven't checked it in a couple weeks so maybe there's some stuff going on here we kind of missed let's go ahead and see what we got around the uh newberry volcano there in oregon 
Again, this is going to be the uh, seismographs here, recorded. And they got, to, what do they got? One earthquake here at about 0321 UTC time. So, we'll see what we got. Hopefully we can access it, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know, it looks a little... There we go, okay. Uh, 0321, right? 0321 UTC time on the 18th. Zero three twenty one is going to be somewhere over here. It looks like maybe this one, and that is a point five. So what about all these other ones here? <laughs> that's a whole bunch of earthquake activity. If that's a point five, some of these may be approaching the one magnitude here at the Newberry volcano. Not all of it's earthquake activity, but there's a there's quite a few of them there within the last few minutes and uh, overnight as well. Seeing all this earthquake activity. I'm not for sure if there's snow or ice up there. Haven't been up there since uh, well, I went up there. Uh, when was that? Was it earlier this year? I can't remember. I, th I think so. When uh, went up there to check the uh, Three Sisters volcano and the roads were all closed. Still got to get back up there. Um, so yeah, kind of keeping an eye on that. Uh, considering they called that a 0.5. Let's go ahead and check out the previous day. And then again, like I say, this seismograph station could be uh, a little ways away from the epicenter of this one this is kind of on the south side we'll check that out here in a second um, some uh, s waves there kicking up across the uh, across the globe that's kind of odd everything froze up for a second again <clears throat> not for sure what's going on uh, so yeah, let's go back here to a different map here. Let's see if we can catch a different seismograph. Come on, where are we at? And I know a couple of these don't work like they should. There's the earthquake in question. Let's see if we can get this one to pop up. <clears throat> Hopefully I can keep my voice here super dry air out here. I think we got humidity down close to the single digits. Well, we know that one's not operational. Uh, there's no way no way we can read that graph. Uh, let's go ahead and check out uh, this one down here to the south. Surveyor's Cave. Uh, that really can't even see anything on that one either. So, got one more choice. I know this one's been in operational. Non-operational, I should say in times past we'll, we'll we'll see if they've got it going or not anyway this again this is the newberry volcano there in oregon uh just checking out these graphs here because oh there we go this one looks pretty good this one well more defined so that is the 0.5 a little bit more localized uh to the seismograph station you can see the difference well defined point and spike uh, and looking at this map here there could be some wind issues going on up here. Looks like this is increasing wind. Uh, I know we're getting some strong wind here today out of the north. Uh, so that may be some wind events, but I'll keep checking on that throughout the day. Uh, let's go ahead and check out Mount St. Helens real quick. See if we got anything happening overnight at the volcano up there since it's been kind of a hot spot of uh, seismic activity. Nothing major going on at Mount St. Helens. Just a, some quakes. Some of them could be some... Uh, ice quakes or snow quakes a couple of them overnight looks like see some of these uh, well-defined again well-defined earthquakes showing up some s waves from the uh i believe that was the 5.8 that struck up there along the aleutian trench uh sending those waves across and through the earth and uh, overnight some of this again looks like wind uh and some maybe possible ice quakes but earthquakes are going to be more well-defined like this looks like there was a couple but nothing major going on at the mount st helens area uh let's see northern california aside from this one out there in the gorda plate uh, had a uh, 2.5 right yesterday nothing going on in northern california I find that kind of odd uh, regional earthquakes here around Cobb mountain the hydrothermal field out there uh, looks pretty active today about 31 earthquakes all below the 2.5 threshold 
Yeah, Sacramento Valley looks pretty clear. Shouldn't be too much earthquake acti activity out there. Uh, 1.8 uh, looks like just outside of Sacramento to the west of Elk Grove. Very small microquake. And some earthquakes kicking up here uh, around the Antelope Valley area. Long Valley Super Volcano showing a little bit of um, activity again today. It has been relatively quiet, but all these are in the microquake range. Nothing specifically around the uh, caldera. It looks like maybe one right here, 0 0.6. But aside from that, uh, this earthquake activity up here in the mountains, or I should say under the mountains there, getting a little swarming activity once again around the Candelaria Hills, northwest of Tonopah from the fracture of that six-pointer, uh, or within the vicinity of that uh, six-pointer that struck there a couple years back. Still seeing some aftershock sequences. And, of course, the activity here ramping up in this line just north of the Garlock Fault structure across uh, just northwest of Las Vegas into the Utah area. Kind of follows this little trend here uh, along the mountain range. And uh, I'm really surprised the Garlock Fault has not shown any significant movement uh, with all this recent activity. Little swarm out here around the Cotton, Cotton Ball Basin, Furnace Creek. Death Valley area. Whoo! No, thank you. I'm good on that. A couple ones and twos out there. Uh, it's a movement there northwest of Indian Springs. A couple microquakes kicking off. Southern California looks a little, uh, well, it looks about average, I would say. Nothing within the last hour uh, showing up here on the map. There's no red circles. A little swarm down here south of Borrego Springs. Even then, that's not a whole lot uh, around the Grapevine Hills. Southern part of the San Andreas Fault looks pretty quiet. Not a whole lot going on. One earthquake there on the Brawley Seismic Zone yesterday with a 1.7. Uh, looking up here around the Yellowstone area, they are showing a little bit of swarming kicking up here. Uh, just south of uh, West Yellowstone. We'll go ahead and pull up the Yellowstone overview map here of the seismographs. And yeah, definitely a little swarm uh, kicking up here. Let's see, they get, these guys have it situated well south of West Yellowstone. So, I know the uh, seismographs get a little bit uh, less populated south here, but the uh, swarm definitely showing up here around the northwest corner of the park. Quite a few earthquakes. Uh, again, they don't look huge. Looks like the majority of these are under the 2.0 threshold. Largest one, a 2.0 so far with the uh, um, 14 accumulated earthquakes here overnight. And again, they have this uh, south of West Yellowstone and about uh, right around in this area. So it is being picked up here across the center portion of the area old faithful uh, as well so a little bit of overnight activity nothing major going on here across the eastern portion of the uh, yellowstone region either so uh yeah just a little swarm and the usgs doing a pretty fine job of reporting that earthquake activity uh, southern plains one earthquake out here shaking the uh, beautiful state of oklahoma Looks like a couple earthquakes out there. Uh, Highway 76, see what we got out here in this area of the state. Wow, well, quite a few uh, gas and oil operations out there. You can see these squares. There's some homes and stuff out here too, but these barren ones with no trees or vegetation are indeed uh, pumping operations out there. And these earthquakes down there at about nine kilometers or so into the land underneath Oklahoma. Uh, let's see what else we got. Texas, some activity out there around Pecos, Texas as well to the west. And one earthquake around the North Carolina region, a 2.0. This area has seen a little bit of swarming in times past, but uh, today just a little 2.0. New Madrid zone, pretty quiet today. Not a whole lot showing up. Puerto Rico, uh, somewhat quiet, not completely. 16 earthquake zone in mean, a pretty um, concentrated swarm on the southwestern edge of Puerto Rico where we tend to always see it. Puerto Rico Trench looks pretty quiet for the most part. In South America region kind of dropping off here on the earthquake department. 
Uh, those earthquakes there from last night and yesterday. Those two deep earthquakes there into the Peru Chile Trench. Let's go ahead and check out solar weather activity. I'm kind of curious to see what these sunspots are looking like today. Uh, there is the coronal hole, which is uh, kind of heading away from us now, but that will amplify some uh, geomagnetic uh, conditions here over the next couple nights. It looks like May 19th, May 20th. Uh, let's go ahead and see what these guys are looking like. <clears throat> yeah, 3014 is looking like the main culprit currently uh, for producing any type of significant flares. Getting uh, quite a bit of mixing here up here on this section. So got to watch that. Uh, all these other ones, they, they're huge, but they're not doing anything spectacular as far as the... Uh, um, the tangling so to speak to create that solar flare in their uh, magnetic fields in fact solar flare activity overnight uh, just consisted there within the sea flare uh, category still kind of crackling it's almost like continuous uh, activity there it's pretty pretty heightened but no M flares no X flares they're still calling for possibly 15% chance uh, of an X flare M flare at 35 and 99% certainty C flare so, um, what do we got? When was this article put out? May 18th. Uh, while most of the active regions on the visible disk have been showing some signs of decay, AR3014, like I mentioned, on the other hand, expanded considerably during the past 24 hours. This region continues to produce occasional minor sea flares, but will remain a threat for a moderate M flare. Additional X ray activity is being detected around an approaching region behind the northeast limb and will begin to turn into view during the next 24 hours. So here's a 3014. This article just put out from the solarham.net website. And again, that's 3014 up there, the kind of the bigger one up there, which is growing in size. And it looks like there is some other development around the bend, around the far side that will be uh, in view here pretty soon towards us. So we'll just stay prepared and stay tuned. Make sure you guys subscribe while you're here and uh, give this video a thumbs up that does help out the YouTube algorithm algorithms can considerably and it uh, does help YouTube uh, get the videos out there for the channel so uh, alright folks we're gonna bounce out of here like I said the stream is up and running now Windows update decided to shut down around uh, look at Solomon Islands jumping there a little bit on the seismograph a couple earthquakes coming into the region there right now uh, doesn't look like anything spectacular or big just localized uh, to the Solomon Islands area. But uh, like I said, um, live stream is up and running and all is good on this end. Hope everyone has a great day. Stay safe out there. We'll chat you guys tonight uh, with tonight's update. Peace out.